Hi, dear friends. Chris here. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. So today I have an unbagging, an unboxing, whichever you like to call it, um, from DIYDigitalArt.com. Again, they were nice enough to send me a few items to review for you all. Um, and so I'll give you a preview. Two of them, actually, all three of them. I guess there are three. They're all ones I've wanted for quite some time. There's a larger canvas, which I've been had my eye on for many, 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 many months. And the other two items are something that I've wanted for a long time, but I've never had anything like that. So this round, when they asked me to choose some of the stuff to show you all, I decided let's go for it. Let's get these um, group of items and uh, see how they are. Okay, so. Thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you DIY Digital Art for sending me these products. And let's get on to the unbagging. Okay, so here we are. I have um, my three items in the bag. So I've opened the bag. Um, just one second, sorry. I'm just trying to find something real quick. Um, Okay, so I've opened the bag to see what's in here because I have, it's been quite a day actually here at my house because I've gotten multiple bag um, items from different places and so I had to see what's in them. Don't you just love getting things in the mail? Okay. So again, this usually um, comes between, for me, usually about two weeks. It really never takes long for, thankfully, what I would consider long, um, be like a month or more, um, but usually they come pretty fast. So about two weeks is the usual. All right, ow. So let's get right into it. Thank you all for watching and for your continuing support. And of course, I have to thank again DIY Digital for their support as well. So here we go. No peekies, no peekies. Okay, so let's put this here. So per usual, we have our standard kit, but tiny bit upgrade because it has a couple bags in there. The wax, the, the tray, and the pen. Here are diamonds. So I'm just going to bring this over here and roll it a little so it flattens out. You know how that goes. All right, so here we go. Voila. Look at that. So this is a 30 by 40, which of course is smaller than that. It's about 25 by 35 the drill area. This is, I consider technically a special shape. And there are some, oops, there are special shapes, although most of the di uh, diamonds on this one, I think are regular diamonds. Um, but there are a few special ones. And of course, the thing that makes, and usually, I'm, I'm sure if you know me, you're watching, well, I don't usually get partials which is technically a partial or special drill that has just regular diamonds so why did i get this i'll tell you why because it's one of those luminous they call them luminous meaning glow in the dark and i've never ever ever yet have had a glow in the dark diamond painting before so now no i should have looked this up but i didn't but this i believe and i'm sorry if i'm getting it wrong or my ignorance um, is probably some sort of piece, some sort of Indian um, type thing with the hand and the eye and the triangle. I'm sure that is something to do with their culture. Again, I'm sorry about my ignorance about that, um, but it's really pretty. I like, I love the design. Not only we have the main focus, but on the outside of the background as well. Tons of different beautiful colors. There are 11 diamonds or special shapes in here. So before I show you, oh, well, let me bring this up 
closer so you could see the drill field. I love how too, not only do you have the eye in there, but you also have the little eye in here as well. And you have the, the moons. I don't know if that little dot's supposed to be a sun, but I really love this design. So before I show you the, dr the drills and the diamonds and everything real quick, I'm just gonna show you the image from the website. So again, it's a little, well, the top's a little blurry, but it's called Luminous Color Eye 30 by 40 Special Shaped. It's 525. And here we go. Now I'm also going to show you, oh, I didn't take that picture of that. Sorry, guys. So you know what you do if you're really interested whether you want to buy this one or not? Or if you want to just see what it looks like I'm going to of course link these all in the description box so if you want to just just even if you're just curious to see what it looks like pop onto the site and go through their pictures because they do show you the areas that are um, what do you call it that glow in the dark actually you know what you know what I'll do when I'm finished doing these products showing you them I'm going to end the video and I'll add a clip at the end with the picture of the uh, the glow in the dark what it looks like all right I'm just gonna um, I want because I want you to see it and I just want to remember so I'm just gonna write it down real quick okay leave myself a little note there so yeah, so like I said, I just wanted you to just, uh, see what it looks like. So that'll be at the end after um, the unboxings. Okay, look, let's open these real quick. See what's in here. Like I said, there's 11 colors. Um, so we have a single color here, which is a pretty purple. That's number seven. Yeah, it skipped on the bag for some reason. So I'm willing to guess the number one is the white. And I'm thinking that's probably the glow in the dark. And then we have these colors. Again, normal drills. Really pretty bright colors. Then we have some special stuff. We have these beautiful little um, tiny minuscule teardrop um I would say a ruby color. It's not garnet. It's a little lighter than that. So that's rubies. Then we have these beautiful, as well, these marquee. By the way, remember when another video just does a completely has nothing to do with anything? Well, one of my other videos I did when I told you about <laughs> the schematic thing over here and how people when they say legend I always think oh legend of the falls no I have not seen the movie yet I will someday so I always think that automatically so whenever somebody says marquee and I see him boxing marquee I always think marquee de sad marquee de sad I don't know why listen I'm not I'm a little nutty you know it's just me but anyways these marquee de sads which I'm going to call them from now on is a beautiful lime green Oh, that's gorgeous. Then we have some faceted, like, round AB color ones, large ones. And we have some clear stars. Okay. So that's it for this one. Let's get to the second one now. Okay, there we go. this one open easier at least again no picky <coughs> excuse me mm -mm. so same thing here and
Okay, so here we have another one. Again, this is another luminous or glow in the dark. Again, 30 by 40, 25 by 35. Um, there are 16 shapes and colors in this one. And this is a, I got this actually for my dad. I thought he might like this one. Well, not for him to do, he doesn't dye and paint. But when it's done, I thought it would be pretty cool. I think he would like it hanging where he is. And at night he could see the outline of it. You know, the beautiful owl with its wings raised up. And a pretty background too. So let's bring it in a little bit. And you know, I might actually, I'm probably going to do these two real quick right away because it's the, what's it called? This, this, uh, Jenny and the Aureli, what is your event called? I forget already. The Snacks event. <laughs> Something like that. Um, so I'll probably do these two um, and throw that in including with it. So I'm, well, I won't start this today, honestly, because this glue's good. I'm almost finished with one that has given me a little bit of trouble, honestly. Uh, not from here, not from DIY Digital Art, but from another one, which you'll see soon enough. And it's just been a little pain. So I'm looking to do something fun and uh, light. So, okay, enough of that. So here's, again, beautiful picture. Let me get the pay the, now again, luminous owl, and it's 550. And I, again, I'll also include this at the end of the video um, with that picture of the glow in the dark. Because if you're gonna get something glowing in the dark, you wanna know where exactly it's glowing, right? Okay, well, so here we have one single drill. It's this oblong sliver thing. And we have two of these orange pearls. Well, let's see. 10 and 16. So obviously those two go there, and that one goes right there. All right. They're really confident that these aren't damaged or not going to get lost or something. I'm so really surprised. Usually they always add a f one or two extras, even in the special ones. So I'm kind of surprised that, th that those are kind of just on their own. So, but there's enough. So here we have two bags. Again, the white is probably the glow in the dark. And we have, the again, pretty colors, bright, bright colors. Oranges and greens and purples and reds and blues. We have some black in this one. Then we also have these, um, like a teardroppy pearl special shape. These beautiful Marquis de Sade red ones. And they're kind of AB-ish because they're red, but you see a little green and yellow in them. Again, the, the Marquis de Sade lime green ones, which I just showed you in the last one. More Marquis de Sade. These are brighter green. They're smaller though. They're, these are really pretty. Good quality. These really look like really beautiful quality, honestly. But some, most of the times I'm perfectly fine. I never really notice big differences in quality. Except when you do see something that's a little better quality. These to me, through the bag, look like they're really good quality. So just an FYI. And these are really pretty faceted orange. Um, again, a little bit with the AB orange and pinks and reds coming through. So, there we have that. Let me just check. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, no, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, and yes, yeah, 16. For some reason, for a minute there, I thought there was supposed to be 17, but no, it was just my mistake. 
so on first inspection I'm really loving these luminous ones and I have seen other ones that I really like too that in the future whether it's now or down the line I will be getting them as well okay there so we have one more product to go get that ready now this is the bigger one we're gonna have fun trying to get this in frame because this is I'll tell you right now it's called yellow larch and it is a hundred by fifty centimeters it's a full round and it is eighteen dollars I'll show you the the picture when I get this unrolled okay that goes there now we have a toolkit a large thing of wax two pens and just one tray so oh, no pinkies oh. this one's the other way so. Sorry, I'm not doing too good of a roll back for you all. So here we are. Now, this one has 30 colors. And it appears to be in the, I think the older style, the pix, yes, it's in the more, the square pixelated way of printing here is a little close-up of it so you can see the drill field might as well just show you this way right okay enough suspense so this is a landscape so here we go so I've seen this so many times for so long and I finally decided, you know what, now's the time. I really love the yellows and oranges. Sticky's good. I'm not going to play with the with the this uh, cover on here net right now because it's too hard, it's too long and <laughs> that's what he said. Um hush up. Uh, it's too hard to get right <laughs> um, the way I want it. So I have to do that off camera. But isn't this really beautiful? I love the effect. See, on camera, it's so you can see it so much better, the effect, than in person. Because, again, you're up close. The usual story. But uh, just take a few feet, step back from it, and you can really see the full effect. Now, it's clear. Don't get me wrong. But I mean the effect of the trees. They, I, I can't describe it, how they're kind of just combining together into the middle here. I really love these colors. They're so beautiful. And I could do oranges and yellows all day. I could, no browns. If these were browns, forget it. But the oranges and yellows, yes, I have no issue with. Really pretty. Okay. So I'm not going to actually, well, I'll open it just a little. I'm not going to go through every single color. But we got a big old bag here. And we'll take them out just to show you. So we do have some, you know, browns here. Of course, you have to have browns. But then we have the beautiful yellows. The beautiful oranges. All different shades. Just fantastic. Now this is the kind of earth tones I could deal with. 
Okay, oops. Yes, well, I'm gonna have to do that. I could get that in real easy, but I don't want to waste any of your time. So, that's about it. I hope you like this because, again, I just really love these. This is going to take some time to work on, my goodness. 50 by 100. Woo! But it's going to be worth it. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay, we're nearing 20 minutes. So, I will show you one last look. And remember, uh, right now, to stay tuned. Uh, it'll just take like two more minutes. Not even. And I'm going to show you the images of these as glow in the dark. All right. So stay tuned. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. I told you I'd be right there. So I went real quick and I found the um, two images for you. So cooperate please okay so here we have nope nope tup 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 see will it go that way it, no it doesn't make it any better so here we have the original of course and this is the glow in the dark so all that you see is supposed to glow in the dark and I also have a larger image right here love it see there got focused a little bit more i didn't test the glow in the dark the drill um on camera i'm sure they'll be fine if they're not i will let you know okay now here we have the owl and this is up close Aren't those really awesome? Um, you know, let me actually look if I could do that. Because, I, like I said, I'm going to assume, obviously, that the glow-in-the-dark would be the white ones. So, let me just do it real quick. I'm going to put the light really on it. You won't be able to see it, but... I just want to make sure. Oh yes. They are glowing. I'm just doing a quality check. I, I couldn't show you with the... No, it's not going to work. With the... Um, <laughs> well, you know what? Oh, I could see it better here. Oh yeah, you got it. See? It's glowing, it's glowing. Okay, so there you have it, y'all. Again, thank you so much, DIY Digital, DIY Digital Art com for sending me these three fantastic products to review. Um, I love them. I hope you all, my dear, wonderful friends and viewers, um, love them as well. Check out their site. Um, again, affordable, budget-friendly stuff there. Ton tons and tons of stuff to check out. Okay? So, until next time, I want to say be happy, stay happy, be safe, stay safe. Goodbye, you all. Thank you, support.